Gaudia foda, né? What I saw on the IRL show last night was just sad. So I, I personally myself read the article, um, part one, that was released and written by Shane Cashman regarding Eliza Blue. And it's saddening, but it is exactly what we were expecting it would be, which was a bunch of softball questions a very poor attempt at trying to be confrontational as an investigative journalist and really just does seem like a fluff piece. You can go in and you can read the comments on the article. The majority of the comments on that article specifically are saying how this is a, this is a wash. This is exactly what everybody thought it was going to be when they were flaming Tim and the investigative piece in the first place. It sucks because I like Shane Cashman. I mean, I still do like Shane Cashman. And I, I just want more information to come out. And I hate to say it because everything that Tim Pool is doing right now, I would consider to be like petty, like diva behavior. And so I have a clip ready to go right here. And it's just, it's gonna rub you the wrong way. I know, I know it will. It rubbed me the wrong way. We'll just get into it. It's interesting to see that so many people came here to uh, uh, support her by giving us a thumbs down. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm surprised. A lot of people do support her. Scrotes McGoat says, last night as a member, if Tim doesn't disavow Eliza tonight, get the f out, Scrotes McGoat. You can cancel right now and see you later. You will never wave money in my face and make me disavow anybody, especially someone I care so little about, Eliza Blue. She's been on the show two times. If you're gonna cancel because I won't do what you say, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. Bye bye Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. I think for anybody who watches Tim regularly knows that the moment he curses on the normal live show, he's either super, super, super angry or they're talking about something super funny and it just kind of slips. They weren't talking about anything funny there. Tim is, he is actively, actively infuriated at the position that this puts him in. He is losing ground. And I know he's put in, I know he's put in tweets out about like, oh, I'm gaining followers, I'm gaining subscriptions. And then it's like, oh, so it's just about money to you, bro. Like, and, uh, and you can go to the video, the comments under the video are just, they're <laughs> like, well, I'll just show you. The top comment here, Tim threw his entire reputation away for a scamming grifter and a liar. Tim, I haven't seen this much denial since you covered the 2020 election. You cannot accuse your own audience of being the only stooges of a PR firm when you literally had her on your show. They only know she existed because of you. So that's an actual comment about the content material. So it goes, Eliza, 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 normal. I mean, I tell you what, I don't think he's tanked his entire reputation, but it doesn't look good right now. And then, so Eliza, Eliza, normal comment. Eliza, Eliza, Eliza. And these are, it, it, it's dom it dominates. It's dominating these comments. So I guess in Tim's words, like his audience has been a mob the entire time. And I mean, the reality is like, I don't think this is going to stop. The top has been completely blown off. The tide is turning in a direction to where people are beginning to be much less scared of outright voicing their dissent. This situation has just blown up so badly to having to stoop to the point where you're saying the reason this is happening is because of a, a it's, this is a PR, this is just a PR move, a PR scandal do meant to sow a beef, a cultural beef between two pundits and it's so fake. It's fake as, the, as those lotus squares they give you on the, the snow piercer, bro. A like chunk of whatever that is, a bug smashed on the window, they tell you it's protein. And so Tim even goes on a Twitter tirade about this. He, you know, here's one. Not only did we gain slightly more members on average this past week, next month is tracking up for members. Stop believing AstroTurf PR campaigns. And I mean, and this is a great, this is a great example. 
a PR firm banned Brittany Venti, and Joe Biden got 81 million votes. Sure, Tim. Let's get you to bed. All right, what else do we got? Uh, DJ Zeno says, unsubbed on members only after over a year. Here's five FU dollars for, you know, I'm pretty bummed. Thought you stood against censorship. Hope you change. See you later, buddy. Look, sad to see you go, but uh, I will never cater to a mob. And uh, that's it. End of story. Uh, Eliza Blue is not important. She's not important to me. She's not a member of Congress. She doesn't enact policy. She is a, a low tier internet personality that for some reason people are desperately obsessed with. And I literally don't care. The reason why I think the second clip is even more particularly egregious is politics is downstream from culture, which in essence, the sentiment there is that culture was always going to dictate what is upheld when it comes to the political socio-sphere of social context, of the fabric of society, right? Like how there may be laws on the book, but if culturally things have changed and moved past these times, then they become very quickly irrelevant, no matter if they're on paper or not. So Tim says, because she's not a congressperson, she can't enact policy, she's just not important, and he doesn't care about her. That is literally the complete opposite of what has been your MO about what you have spoken about for the past at least five years about why you make your importance upon the culture war and why you attempt so much to influence change. Shortly before this super chat, he literally talks about how he's opening physical locations regarding his coffee shops he wants to set up, as well as for Damistan, to enforce and have influence culturally. But because Eliza Blue's not a congressperson, you're going to not speak about the cultural impact and influence and relevance this entire story has? I can't defend it. I literally can't defend that. And I greatly respect Tim. I think he's done a lot of good work. He really has. And, and he's a diva. He's petty. He's all of that. But he's done good work as well. I want to not have to keep doing these videos. I feel like I'm spamming this, this drama now. And I just want to leave it at that. I, I think you guys have seen well more than enough to make your own educated opinion about this toxic garbage. I don't think you need to hear me speak about it anymore. I think everyone needs to make their own decision whether they want to continue to support Tim regarding just, just such a bad, bad take on this. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. Peace.